بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وال محمد ان شاء الله our lecture today today is going to be about the way to Allah عز وجل I'm going today to unveil new things that exist in our brain but not, not the physical brain what we say it in uh, science like if someone uh, you go to study in science you say this is your brain but inside your brain we have something that called mind right which is translated to Arabic as aql this is always Allah Azza wa Jal he concentrate in aql because everyone all humans have brains but not all humans have aql some of them are do they do have brain but you see them like they're not really stable mentally stable so their aql is low that's why Allah Azza wa Jal he, he never judge them when they go if they go if they ever go to for example uh, to the judgment day Allah Azza wa Jal will not judge them he will immediately will enter heaven and this is their test because in Alam Zar they chose that for example Allah Azza wa Jal he said for you to be safe you have to agree for example if I give you the aql you will be bad you'll go and then over there maybe they said to Allah Azza wa Jal can you save us he will say okay the only way maybe to save you is to be here a little bit unstable mentally unstable not crazy so we are the one who chose that this this step some of them they chose to be uh, handicapped many time you you sit down you say why Allah Azza wa Jal he created those handicapped they're suffering but maybe this guy in, in Alam Adhar before Alam al Dunya before this before the what we live on now they chose this why because they want to be in a level of prophets if because why because those people are they have a lot of patience and and with patience you you reach the level of prophecy but Allah Azza wa Jal didn't choose them prophets so they chose to be handicapped why because they would like to be in the level of prophet you see so it, it goes like this and over there we chose many things and Allah Azza wa Jal he grant them here why because at the end he wants you to go to heaven he didn't create you to go to hell because going to hell we, we said it before it is like you don't have anything it's like a software you don't have anything except yourself you, you don't have any spirit and your energy will be directly from hellfire so my, our, our mind Allah Azza wa Jal he granted it with three things and what I'm saying today maybe you never heard of because it is it's been unveiled and under many many layers of secrecy and this secrecy why because because always uh, the people who always deliver religion they care more about you performing good salat good psalm and nothing wrong with that but with this with this uh, explanation inshallah you hopefully you reach the what what we're looking for as a goal why because if you know this kind of things more things gonna open inside you inside your brain inside your thinking you will see more different okay, in different views okay inside our brains Allah Azza wa Jal if you see the physical brain he created two sides but in reality and uh, like what we always say there's two eyes and there's one secret eye you see this this eye is the middle the third eye and this the third eye exists by in a metaphysics people who are able to control this eye there's some training you can do you can search online how to train the third eye and they will teach you how they, it's it, it's easy to do it I mean it to, to train it and it will become a good assets for you for the future if you notice you ever notice uh, good actors why you love good actors even when we were young we thought to be a good actor you only need to be beautiful and tall and you have a beautiful hair and beautiful eyes in reality if you look now to the actors you see them not very beautiful I mean normal they look normal right they're, they're short some of them some of them they're tall some of them would each one with different talent but the main they're the very famous people the uh, actors do you see them very normal they don't have beauty I mean just regular but always when you watch when you watch them they never with their eyes they never close their eyes while they're acting they always their eyes are open if you always if you notice that why because they were trained for the third eye third eye mean 
always you have to keep your two eyes open why because you need to reflect the energy of the third eye okay you can train yourself to do that you can whatever i mean depend how you believe in it okay and later it will become a good energy for you but science refuse that regular science they say why because i get dry and you need to always keep flashing so they get moist but the other people they said no they say no it, they, there's energy in it okay but the only successful actors they never flash their eyes so that will give a hint for something same thing for the brain there's two sides and there's one side that is hidden in a meta meta metaphysics word metaphysical word where we can find this in the quran like we always have to give an evidence in the, from the quran otherwise i'll be just talking fantasies and you're just imagining you know there's nothing like science fiction we can call this lecture the science fiction of brain for us to be like valid okay at the very beginning like we said before quran uh, we look at them at the main at the main ayat surah surah and ayat and the names always mean something if you want to look at something for the brain you have to look for something inside surah al-fatih why because everything come to you is from faidullah azza wa jal we said it in a in a way of allah azza wa jal he will send it right through angels and the right frequency the person who have a right frequency in his brain he will able to catch that we all have different frequencies but the main four frequencies we know it i mean there's major four but each one of our brain has a same thing like our fingerprint they have a print brain print and you build that ba brain print by your more knowledge you gain more thinking you build more wiring inside the system inside your brain system it will always add you something good to your brain which is will be will give you at the end of your your print uh, the the brain print okay there's and there's something else in surah al jinn okay if why, someone asked me why surah al jinn surah al jinn means the jinn you know the the spirits the people who get scared from but in reality if you say why allah azza wa jal called them jinn in arabic jinn i mean in the old language mean anything that are hidden from eyes it it is jinn anything is hidden from your eyes it is jinn for example, they say Janna al-Layl, when why is Janna al-Layl getting crazy? No, I mean in Lebanese language, if you say Janna al-Layl, يعني, someone gets very crazy at night. Or Janna fil-Layl. Okay, in in the Quran, Jan means hidden, veil, there's veil. And we need those two to understand the third part inside the brain. I mean the metaphysical brain. The first, the first in Surah al-Jan, if you read the first, second, third, and they say, Wama uh, I'm sorry, just a second to open the surah. Okay, and now Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I'm gonna read at the, the third one from the surah Al the third ayah, saying, Wa innahu ta'ala jaddu rabbina matakhaza sahibatan wala walada. Over here, he said, It is true, true jad, jad, it is serious, something very serious that Allah Azza wa Jal, He did not take. Uh, neither uh, like a like a wife spouse or companion or neither a kid okay over here Allah Azza wa Jal, he mentioned a very important word it say he said it is very serious but Allah Azza wa Jal, he never joke in the Quran to say I'm serious over here he said okay in the translation they were saying I'm gonna read the translation and you see how how wrong it is it is very wrong and they say and and that he exalted be the majesty of our lord has not taken a consort nor a son at the end it's true but of at the at the top he didn't say allah Azza wa Jal, he was serious because in a, in a arabic language jad means serious but he did not maybe the translator he did not see a valid uh, tra uh, word for this kind of things because he didn't understand the meaning we know arabic language by only fatha dhammi kasra i mean the the things you put under the word will change the whole meaning i can give you many examples for that but we know that already anjad yes when in arabic language we say anjad yani an jad you see there's an it is true it is serious 
So over here, Jad means serious. And this serious means something very important. What is it? That Allah Azza wa Jal, He's not talking that He is serious, just He's serious. He's telling you that there's something inside your brain called Al Jad. Something, a part of your brain called Jad. Why? Because we are made. So, for example, if you want to be always professional, you always have to be serious about what you're saying, your life serious, in a way of Allah Azza wa Jal, how He wanted it. Okay. And you believing in Allah Azawajal does not have a spouse, he doesn't have a kid, then you one of the your brain is activated to be serious in a matter of Allah Azawajal. This is the first key for the first part. The key for that is the more you take all the shirk in, from inside your brain, Jad, you see there's no there's no like joke in that. And inside your brain, why? Because your brain make uh, make such jokes sometimes. How? We always we what we call it. There's two type of shirk. Shirk mean, ishraq billah azza wa jal. Mean like I care for someone more than Allah azza wa jal. He Allah He wants you always to care for Him strictly. The more you do that, the more you do that strictly. Why? Because when you care about Him, you care about everyone. Why? There's the only way you care about Allah Azza wa Jal is through everyone. You cannot just be sitting all day long worshipping Allah because you're not doing anything for yourself, for others. You have to be serving all other around you. You have to be loving to all other around you. You have to be always building our all around you. And through that you reach the content. Yeah, Allah Azza wa Jal is he's accepting you. So this is the seriousness. This is the first part. Then Jad. And then the second part is in Surah Al-Fatih. In Surah Al-Fatih, it is at the very beginning. Inna fatahna laka fatha mubina. If you read Surah Al-Fatih, inna fatahna laka fatha mubina. And this is where the two combination comes. Because the first ayah, if you see it from Surah Al-Fatih, is the first one. Inna fatahna laka fatha mubina. And over here is the third one. You see one third. And there is something between them is missing. There is number two is missing. You see how is it? Yani, subhanallah, even with that, even if you read after Surah Al-Fatih, "Inna fatahna laka fatha mubin al-ikhfir Allahu ma taqaddam min zambika wa ma taakhir," over under that is just the 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 specifications. How, for example, if Allah Azza wa Jal, if you want to open it for you, I was just saying it now, open it in a way of Allah Azza wa Jal will take the veils from your brain to understand more things, deeper things. He will take the veil from your eyes to see more things. This is what does it mean in Fatahna Laka Fatha Mubin. Even in a translation here you see it completely different. You see it that someone explaining as Allah Azawajal, he give you the biggest victorious things. Victory in war or something. And and Allah Azawajal he didn't mean to open a, an ayah in Fatahna Laka Fatha Mubina by because you were so victorious at war and Allah Azawajal he granted you that. No. It's not this is not the right tafsir. So this tafsir goes with in the, when he said in fatah then this is mean we opened everything for you in a way of we took all the veils from your the brain we we you you'll be able to see everything around you you uh, your brain is completed you have full brain not like us for yani in a way of because he opened those two he unlocked so the more like jihad against the next. yes the because he won he won that jihad and when this happened why? Because the second ayah after that he said لِيَخْفِرَ مَا تَقَدَّ مِنْ ذَنْبِكْ وَمَا تَأَخَّرَ You see? And Allah, uh, Rasulullah is already, he's already sinless. It doesn't make sense. He, how, how Allah Azawajal after that he said he's gonna forgive all your sins before and after. But he didn't have any sins before and after. What he was talking, he's talking to us. He's saying and since Rasulullah he is our representative representative he, he is representing the humankind and at the same time he is representing Allah Azza wa Jal to the humankind you know vice versa so what, what, what is it then through him Allah Azza wa Jal he will open all the veils through Rasulullah for example he's the medium yeah for example now someone will come to me and say I believe in Allah Allah is all the stuff that exists in the Quran, you know, he is Lam Yalid Walam Yulad 
neither be got, uh, born, neither, neither he got, uh, give birth, whatever, all this, the good things with what we say about Allah Azza wa Jal. And at the very end he said, but I don't believe in Muhammad as a prophet. I believe in someone else as a prophet. Then Allah Azza wa Jal is not going to accept anything from him. Because he, ha he has to go through Muhammad. That's why through that, that prophet, because he chose him. That's why he said, لِيَغْفِرَ الْمَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَرْ through you, through Rasulullah. And this is the second brain we said. So we have two things, but, but those things. But we have two things. We have something called al-jad, seriousness. In a way we said it. I don't know. There's no word that explains jad in English except saying serious. But I explained what does it mean. And then there's the second part is al-khayal and uh, al-jad al-fatah. The second one, the fatah is that Allah Azza wa Jal is talking about between. Between Jad and Khayal, I mean between Jad and Fatah, between those two, two brain, there is a medium under that is called Khayal. Khayal is the imagination. Between it, what make you human? The Khayal. It what make us human? Between those two big universes. How? In a, even in a physical brain, in our physical brain, we have two parts, and under that we have like little ball under that yes whatever you want to call it okay and then under this it has only when we sleep it will release a small amount of drug called dmt inside uh, under your brain and this is where it will open the creative side inside you it, it will open the imagination when we sleep we need this dose and then that that gland only it will give you like maybe zero zero point one when you sleep someone someone sleep because he needed it the, this is the only way brain will go will make us sleep will make our nafs go from the brain at the same time see the brain is through this dmt it's the only gland dmt is under the brain and then it is the only brain that make us die i mean gland make us really die when someone dies this gland it will release all the fluid inside it and in high dose and over there this is where we ex exit our body yes nafs nafs yeah yeah the khayal the creator yes why because the third one is important why because it will calibrate the two at the same time because if you're hundred percent serious and you're hundred uh, percent uh, you have fatah you'll be you'll become crazy because we can, we're unable to we're unable to uh, mix those two any uh, like you know melanging we call it okay yes al fatah and al khayal al fatah and al jad al fatah and the khayal we need it in the middle this is the medium between between those two this is the third eye will give you the power even though we now over here we say imagination i mean imagine imagining thing is bad because someone can sit all day long imagining bad things and that's why imagining bad things is good, is bad. That's why imagining bad things is bad. And inshallah, in the future, we will talk about, inshallah, yani we'll, uh, when we have like more, we will talk about why it's bad for guys to go to something, I'm sorry to say, to call it ma masturbation. Why? Because it will involve the uh, imagination and the bad things. That's, for example, uh, ulama till this moment they always say it's bad for you but they didn't give any any evidence why it's bad because all doctors they say no it's good for you you have to always do it why because it will give you this release whatever they say and even now by watching some tvs i mean flipping channels you see there's shows for that they always want you to do it why because doctors they say it's good they show on it in the TV and they always want you to commit to it and it is why why they want you to do something good I mean TV is here they never some give something good for you always anything anything disturbing it will always be promoted but with these things they keep telling you doctors who always recommended it so those people who who really always believe that it's recommended by doctors and so on and so on we should do it we should commit to it so you start wondering why this is happening now so there's something big is coming they want you to 
destroy your imagination and these things because this is destructive inshallah we will we will make a, 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 a lecture specifically for that because it is becoming a disease now more than anything else anyway so back to that so this imagination always have to be clean if someone now asks me for example the people who always use drugs they say okay uh, please don't do it huh okay <laughs> i'm just joking but I'm people who's watching that please don't do it <laughs> okay some people will able to buy dmt from outside yeah. will be able to buy it okay and when you buy that you're able to smoke it and when you smoke it you find some people and even on youtube they they were smoking it and they will they were expressing what they're seeing okay and i did watch that why because i want to learn this is the knowledge that allah Azawajal want us to know but you shouldn't be knowing and trying at the same time because if he's stupid to do it then you should just watching and learning this is how science if for example someone especially from the new generation always they will say i would like to try everything i would like to give him a gun and try to shoot his head so he will die or not let's do let's uh, you know it's stupid okay so with this tmt with uh, many experiences i watched it before and there are more studies when someone smoke it what he will see he will see patterns mathematical patterns of light for example now if i'm looking here everything i see it in a geometrical shape with colors it is very fascinating yeah everything you see it with with pat patterns in a, what way in a, for example cubes circles triangles making us yeah every everyone in a room will be like this thing and even if we look up in the sky you see many like hallways with a geometrical pattern flying so subhanallah yani mathematics is there why because what's construction us and i said it before is numbers but over here what's bad about this thing what's bad about this thing you did not prepare your your brain right for example if the atoms of your brain are set right the fat is good and on one side and the, and the, the, the Jad on the other side is good, the serious and the Fath, they're both good and this DMT when the people, the, especially for Arfan, Arfani people and the people who really reach high knowledge and this is the way of the, the way of God, Allah Azza wa Jal, He will unveil it, how? by having this DMT inside your, it will start releasing in small doses and you will see the reality of things you won't see the patterns of light or colors anymore why because now your brain is prepared the only way you prepare your brain is by committing to love of Allah Azza wa Jal. how by taking shirk completely from the fat and over over the other side by really believing that Allah Azza wa Jal, he exists with no spouse with no kids and both with the fat with the khayal at the, uh, in the middle will give you this ultimate power and this is how if someone is going to the road of Irfan if someone going road to the Ruhaniyat yani spiritualities he need to commit to these things because the first thing when someone goes to this road what will happen always devil will be there in the road devil he always uh, we mentioned that he always have the best way to catch, to catch someone to throw him in hell even by make him do kibber like for example someone do too much worship at the very end he will start showing off that i know i do too much worship someone he read few books and he'll be like a marja you know we have many around us today if even your friend or something he read one book for example for fatawa i become a mufti you ask him anything he know everything <laughs> really the, any any place you go now you find those people why because this is the kibber the kibber yani this is one of the uh, quality of the devil arrogance. arrogance yeah he wanted to be arrogant about what you, your life you are the first this is the first for example we always see it in a teenagers the first thing for um, they go he do he go do push-ups i'm not saying that's bad oh we all passed by that by that it's a stage of life but some people they stick to it you see someone 50 years old now and still doing the same thing that he stand always next to the mirror and he's showing off his his muscles it's not there's nothing bad with that but i'm saying he's always his main intention in life is that 
this is the only thing he always taking care of the muscles here and he leave the big muscles over there, over there. He, most that's why it's bad most of the big muscle people I'm, I'm sorry not most of them <laughs> I don't want to be hit today <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one, one. Uh, yani. Okay. The, the, um, yani if you go to the gym, you always see them. They're doing their best to show off their bra their their presentation is the body. The, the, they they present themselves by their body. They're the presenting themselves so, themselves what they're wearing today. It has to have a polo here. It has to have a uh, very beautiful jeans that they're wearing. It has to be why? Because they completely depended on the imagination. You see how bad imagination alone. The third brain, hidden metaphysical one, always if this one get is uh, like they have they implemented bad things in it. Like what what I I was explaining in which way. It will become bad because you're always taking care of your body, and this is where you, they want you to be. It's good to always take it. Allah Azza wa Jal. He ordered us, for example, in many, if uh, Yom Al Jum'ah comes, there's million narration that uh, Ahlul Bayt they say go do Ghusl Al Jum'ah. If you don't do Ghusl Al Jum'ah, yani you go do take a shower. Allah Azza wa Jal will give you so much hasanat, will give you so and so. He will grant you so and so. He, they always wanted to be clean. Why? Because with clean body, it will be easy to live in life. Malaika has a clean body. When they come uh, be next to you, they always want to exchange this aroma. You know, we have uh, moments they have such a beautiful aroma. We don't, we don't really smell it. And uh, bad people, they have a bad aroma. Why? Because they always, in reality, when someone lie, his face will change and he will produce bad aroma from his brain from his body and vice versa if someone always say the truth and always say good things he will his body always produce the good aroma that the, some creature will able to smell that and that's from from Allah Azza wa Jalla, he created that for some reasons so this the main the imagination if it get bad and this is the middle brain it will affect the, the two ones why because now you are comparing your how powerful you are for example in your in imagination in, in in your brain because you get creative like you're like now superman you know like extending and then you will walk in this is how you start thinking i will go outside now i will wear the polo shirt the small one to show my how big you know my my muscles are and then i'll be passing by you know yasmin bakery to see beautiful two beautiful girls i exchange numbers they they say, oh my God, you're so beautiful, I want to go with you now. You know, this is how the imagination starts. And then you end up having seven kids in less than a few seconds, right, in your brain. Because you went out with this woman and with that woman. And, and, and then you built so much, so many things. And then this will be a destruction for you. Why? Because you are producing too much energy for something that doesn't exist. You know, the, our brain is very smart. At the same time, it's very stupid. In what way? For example, now if you convince your brain that when, while you're driving the car that you are inside airplane and the airplane will is gonna go down, your brain will start producing everything to keep you calm, and you start working in very weird way. That really this thing happen, and your heart will start be pumping. Why? Because he does not know where he is. Because where are you inside? I don't want to go in the philosophical point of view. I don't want to get you lost. But he does not know where he is. The only thing he used the sensors from outside. Sensors mean the eyes, the the ears, the location system. Because you have been many times before there in that same road. He doesn't know where he is. You tell him where he is. So if you tell him now I am in Europe sitting here, he will believe that he's in Europe. Now he and then there is a signature frequency signature and energy signature for Europe specifically Allah Azza wa Jal, he embedded it inside your system so your brain will start releasing such energy and trying to gain such energy that he is from Europe to keep himself gaining the right energy so what you did is you flip the frequency for your body yeah the brain he controlled that that you are in Europe and 
and your body start acting like he is in Europe and everything start to believe that he is in Europe and then you're not in Europe, you're in the United States what's happening? there's a bad energy going inside you see? but subhanAllah Allah Azza wa Jal, he gave up if you now if you believe that you're in Paris for half hour you're not gonna die but over a long time it will start the body will start get tired those they very create they're very they're the people who imagine so much you see them always tired they don't do much they don't do much physical things but they're always tired why because they're, they're pressured with their ideas but with these ideas only because some ideas are good I don't mean everyone who do imagination is bad but I'm saying for for this things for example like this guy he was he having he was having an egg he was walking and then he found his friend he said what what you're doing with this egg he said I wanna go home I wanna I have a, like a uh, I wanna put it under a blanket and this egg is gonna one day be a chicken and then the chicken is gonna give me more eggs and with more eggs I be raising more chicken and after like five minutes he kept saying more and more and then now we have a big farm and then with this farm he's gonna sell half of it to bring cows and with cows he's gonna have more meat coming and then he's gonna open big farm for different things and then he, he all the people inside the village are working for him and so and so and so on. and then I said okay good luck for you the other guy and he start walking and while he's the other guy is walking he he, he hit something and all the, the the egg went to the floor and everything was broken so look how much energy that guy he really excited himself excited his imagination with having so much money from one egg and then at the very end nothing happened he dropped the egg so first he wasted the time and then he spread so much energy that he's so rich and he's not really rich because when you believe that Allah Azza wa Jal will start acting like you are rich we don't want to go into this subject but, but that's why always the importance of what we call it zuhud in life the zuhud in life is having everything around you but you don't really want it and we have a hadith from one of the imams he said if a mu'min let's say he said he was waiting let's say to find a job and he really working for it like to find a job and he couldn't be able to find a job but he's really working for it or he's trying to let's say getting married or whatever it is and at the very end he start saying oh Allah Azza wa Jal he's not granting me anything good in my life I'm really I'm having bad this bad feelings about that then he said Allah. be careful from Allah Azza wa Jal getting angry at that moment why because you know what's gonna happen he's not gonna make him die or he's not gonna make him lose everything in life or like whatever we believe he's not gonna put him in hell no he's gonna give him yes yeah he's gonna open Bab dunya one of the doors he didn't say all the doors he said one of the small doors he's gonna open it for you why because he before he didn't want you to open that door why because if you open it it will make make you weak what what's the important thing is him making you so strong and then he open it for you he does not want to open it for you while you're weak because be, when you're weak he know when you're weak because for example if you start working and you're still not strong then it will be bad for you and Imam yes Imam al Jawad he mentioned that in one of the speeches he said I'm gonna translate it directly he said if you have Allah Azza wa Jal, he granted you with talent of he granted you a certain thing inside you make it so strong inside you because if it didn't make so strong and you start practicing that immediately it will become something bad it will be mafsada mafsada mean you will destroy it and this one will take you to, to hellfire first for example if Allah Azza wa Jal gave you grant you a good talent always work on it train it very good after when you feel yourself that you're really in control of that talent then now release it it will become good for you but when it's bad I mean when you feel it's not you didn't it doesn't give you yet the right thing then leave it it'll it till it will give you the good thing so Allah Azza wa Jal, when he closed the door for some people it will be good for them and when he opened the door for them this is the ibtila we always believe that a person who have money who have more money than his alhamdulillah is good no it's not the more money you have the more Allah Azza wa Jal, he will test you with it 
and then the more sayat and the more stuff. I don't mean that all the good people, I mean the the people who have money, they're bad. No, you have to have money. I said how important to have money. But you always have to prepare yourself for that and then so so this is what the zuhud. It will be good for us in life. And Allah Azza wa Jal explained that لِكَيْلَا تَأْسُوا عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا أَتَاكُمْ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ I'm sorry, I, I forgot the, uh, the right uh, ayah. But um, uh, what he said over here, he's talking about zuhud. And zuhud is very important that it will make, it will train you to not be sad about what, what was bad in the past. And it will not make you happy for what's coming. Always be neutral. In what way? you always content of you have this contentancy. Yeah, I don't want you to always be like negative in life. Some people they might call this negativity, but it's not. It is because you said what happened already happened. I cannot change it, but I'm gonna change it for the future. And when this is changed, you won't be so happy with because you'll be afraid that it will open bad doors for you again. So you always have to be content. Whatever Allah Azza wa Jal send you, you're there. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. So um, when you, this is how like you, you tap into your imagination, like you said, anything that I exists um, in the world, it's not invented. It's already there. You tap into this imagination. Yeah. No. Allah Azza wa Jal, in the imagination is the universe of creation. I mean, the cre for your own, your own things. Allah Azza wa Jal, I, I said, you know, anything inside your imagination exists. You know, in a way of flying house, uh, right. all these things. So all these things ex exist. There's nothing inside your imagination that doesn't exist. Why? Because if if thing something it doesn't exist, uh, the jad and khayal won't exist anymore. They won't be valid anymore. You see, this is the futra of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then if you go away from it, let me explain how. In a in a way, for example, of DNA, fraud, Freud. Okay. No, that guy who about monkeys. What his name? Darwin. Okay. Okay, Darwin. Uh, he said he mentioned something. He said, "When things get by time, there's evolution. You know, they change. Now we're human. Maybe we'll be later we we'll become monkeys again. Who knows? He's something changing. In in reality, Islam, he didn't mind of something having evolution. But in what way? Our DNA, let's say, have um, billions of combinations of RNA, right, inside them. It will change, but only it what it's meant to be inside the RNA. It can, yes, it cannot create new RNA. You know, there's 65 million or 65 billion combination. Okay, now we are using few only. So Allah Azza wa Jal, He created those 65 combination, and He you will be He'll be able to use them whatever He wants. But they always have to be under this gender. So there is evolution because it's already existed. He already embedded the evolution inside him. There is no evolution that comes from nature. He is self-embedded of evolution. That's why, for example, if he travel to space, the body will take off the need of his legs. And, uh, and there is some study they saying if someone stay, let's say, 10, 10 years in space around Earth, he doesn't need any more legs. So the, the DNA will start feeding all the muscles over there and then later the second generation maybe the legs will be shorter shorter short at the end you won't have legs anymore so our the human after maybe 500 years living in space he'll, he will look like a worm it's just like Darwin's spinjil, yes it's exactly not, it's not actually evolution where they're making new things they're just it's variation it's variation it's because it's already embedded inside yeah. Yeah. yes Exactly. Now they're just expression, they're expressing different genes, genes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's already inside your gene. It's not. It's not getting this code from outside. So let me tell you how. For example, you cannot have someone in space, and then he evoluted by evolution will get will get you hairy. Or no, I I want to use an example that we don't have it. But I cannot use this example because with our imagination I is, it, yeah. I, c I can't make it. So for like, I cannot, for example, in space, your body cannot get something that doesn't exist already, because it, it's inside you. Mm. 
evolution should be something that didn't exist before and this is where the wrong point is same thing with what you're saying with this imagination it it has to be embedded in you you cannot imagine something that does not exist mm. this is one of the yeah there. it's already it's there a combination yes a combi if you're in space the combination will evolve yeah so let's say this gene this gene they combine to form something yes it's not you're not going to create a new exactly and that's why allah azza wa jal when he say, yes when he say allah he is the one who did it for them وَخَتَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ تب he said that if Allah خَتَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ then he's, he's not making them learn actually he is he, he embedded this in them but they chose not to learn it so he, he decided not to do it why? because it's embedded on you and this is where Allah is always responsible for it it's a little tricky to understand it but it's, when you understand it, it will make you feel yeah it makes sense yeah. questions? Yeah. We just believe it's not as, as a Muslim. We're supposed to believe not how they believe it. It's about it's random. It happens. Yeah. It's a rahmah from Allah. Yeah. That's what we believe. Yeah. You know the problem is of, of evolution. Many Muslim Muslims they talked about it, but they the problem they did not approach it right because they didn't understand really what is it. The main point is this. They said a monkey. He became a human, or human became. He's gonna become a monkey, and that's it. They shut down everything. They said this is haram to even think about it. How Allah Azza wa Jal? He said, wa khalaqna, wa Allah Azza wa Jal, He created the human being in the best form, in the Quran. How how He's gonna create him as a monkey, or so and so. This is how 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 they approach it, and then they denied all the evolution. But now you see, like last year, I was. In, in one of the lectures, one of the ulama he said, we believe in evolution in certain ways. You know, because now they're open more to science. I mean, in a way of they're studying evolution. And they go to universities and they study it. The problem, we have a lot of problems, for example, in Hawzat. They only teach aqaid. They don't teach science. If they teach science, they teach it from 1910 or 1915 science. You see, their books are very old. They're proud of it. You know, they always, you see our ulama, because they're poor, you know, they, you see that that they they their books are they copy it from each other. This is how, you know, I feel like when someone showing off that he's copying the books from other because he doesn't have money to print. That's bad, because the main, the big house over there they should print new books for them, because science is getting fast. I mean, we're go we're going very high tech, and then if you keep say religion. Uh, bad, very behind. It's gonna have this gap that we're having now. Same thing with Christianity. Same thing with Christianity. But Alhamdulillah, we always have Allah Azza wa Jal. He is taking care of that. If Allah Azza wa Jal wasn't taking care of that, believe me, we would be like worse than Christianity. Because if be some people, this is the way Allah Azza wa Jal uh, work. Because He promised, while there is no Imam on Earth, He's gonna teach some people to do that because they accept them to be taught. We explained that before, and then science will go through them. If they don't accept that anymore, he will change the people. He won't change the science because he promised other people that I'm always gonna feed you with the right knowledge. Let's say how, if now, for example, if we're presenting now the such lectures here, and then why why I'm doing that? Uh, uh, sheikh should be doing this, right? Because the the main sheikh stream the mainstream they refused such, such logic they don't want it anymore so Allah Azza wa Jal, he exchanged it with different people let's say now one time I become arrogant God forbid whatever showing off with this Allah Azza wa Jal, he's, will, he will immediately exchange me with someone who really deserve that if I am presenting something or with other persons or with other people who are taking this, this knowledge so it, it will work this way Yeah, because he will exchange him. He will exchange him. And even the house of God, and this is the bad point, the house of God should be the center of this kind of things. But we are exchanging this with people who are open their houses for that. And this is, uh, their houses become like a house of God. SubhanAllah, you see, it's exchanging. But we're not denying, we cannot say that what they're doing is bad. What they're doing is amazing. But they should be more expanding 
religion does not only fit exactly now this is how they they always keep saying Ahlul Bayt and Rasulullah and Allah and that's it but now with life now we have life that is always ex challenging you with many ideas you open TVs you find many things things now are very vague before they were black and white now they're very vague like what we're explaining you open the TV they want to pass something very bad because doctors they tell you it's good and they're showing you people how they're doing that good thing and so and so so you go try it yourself they want they want to push you for that so now religion will say it's haram and point how are you gonna say okay doctors they're telling you it's good why why you're telling me it's bad because it's bad this is how we study it but why why it's bad because it's bad Allah Azza wa Jalla said it's bad in the Quran now what I'm I'm attack I'm not attacking the Sheikh anymore I'm attacking Allah Azza wa Jalla saying okay Allah is he's he's how he create this thing inside me and he doesn't you know right. see this is how the way of shaitan if there's no people will come in a middle way to tell you this is bad for so and so and so reason they will use the same science that they're using to to make it valid and this is all because we go back the same jad fatah and khayal in the middle it's all the contribution with each others they will take you to the right word the right right the right uh, way hmm. Inshallah, Ya Anything else? Oh, it's okay. We're after, Inshallah, Al Muhammad. Okay. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Bayti Tayyibina Tahirin. Wa sallallahu ala Muhammad wa